Welcome to the Goodwood Festival of Speed 2016. I, it's my hometown, believe it or not, Chichester, and we're at Lord March's sunny estate. Well, sunny half the time, but this is England, you know what I mean? Uh, I have the opportunity right now to drive this uh, McLaren P1 GTR up the famous Goodwood Hill. Now, back in 1995, Dad and I raced the Harrods liveried McLaren F1 GTR, and we finished third. I talk about that a lot. Uh, biggest moment of my life uh, at that point. And uh, that was obviously an exceptional experience for a young lad. And coming back now, I have the chance to drive the latest one, 1,000 horsepower hybrid, perhaps the most sought after supercar in the world. And it definitely fits my category of unicorn cars, as in cars that not many mortal people will ever get the chance to drive. So. I'm one of them, ladies and gentlemen. I better get ready, I'll... You're just gonna come along for the ride because uh, I don't think I'll have a chance to talk. inside the P1 GTR, down at the like pre-staging area. Uh, Goodwood is very much a process of sort of hurry up and wait, and then, well, like all hill climbs really, then this explosion of activity. Uh, gives me a chance right now to, to tell you a bit about it. Um, really, this is a completely digital car in a way, if you think about it. It is so high tech, I mean, as in, anti-analog, everything's fly by wire. What McLaren learned from their racing technology is off the charts. Um, and it, it's pretty much all in this car. Demand was so high that they've actually, to date, built 52 of the P1 GTRs and, and hundreds of the, uh, the P1. So, I mean, what a massively expensive, but crazily successful uh, project for McLaren uh, road cars. And you can see why, because yeah, it's just, it's just the coolest thing that you could ever sit in. Uh, starting with the steering wheel, the steering wheel is uh, is really lifted straight from one of the Formula One cars. You can imagine this is uh, this is what their drivers pretty much hold on to, albeit with their unique set of uh, controls. Uh, it's it's rubbery. It, it's really pretty much made of the same stuff as they do use very high grip uh, on the Formula One car. Uh, it has a complete cluster of different uh, traction and uh, traction control and what was the other one? Traction control and oh, suspension control. So we're used to that in a lot of powerful cars, but it's just the way it's displayed here. You can separate uh, the in internal combustion engine, 750 odd horsepower from the ele the electric hybrid motor if you want, but uh, together a thousand horsepower. You could launch controls this. You've got rain. You've got I don't know, it, it, it was so, basically I got confused when they were telling me, so I hope there's a start button. Um, when you turn it on, it's so cool because it's actually got the this car with the Harrods livery on, of course, Harrods, uh, me, Dad, 1995, at Le Mans, uh, we finished third, and um, it has the Harrods livery car on, come up on the dash. Right now it's wrapped in the James Hunt livery and you can see the graphics on the side paying tribute to that and actually Freddie Hunt drove it yesterday. So that was very cool. Funny, up here you've got a, a little map of the hill with various corners on it and they're all numbered in case I guess you stop. 
I certainly won't be looking at it. Um, just, I am most enthusiastic. I do have a passenger. He is a famous YouTuber. Mr. JWW. He's going to be sitting next to me recording his stuff too. So we have more cameras in this than uh, a porn shoot, but we are, we are documenting this very well. I'm sort of a bit gobsmacked, you know? Almost speechless. <laughs> Which is right. rare for both of us. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Justin, we're now live on Snapchat. Um, we are in a P1 GTR, guys. <laughs> what can I say? They're not uh, nothing other than hold on. Oh, hold on. Yeah. No, this is ridiculously cool. I'm trying to absorb this whole moment. I know. Man, you know. And the trouble is with what we do yeah. is you suddenly find you actually haven't lived the moment. Yeah, because you're, you're being recorded. Yeah, the moment. Absolutely, totally agree and with and that. And it, it's like being yeah. at a birthday party for a kid with a camera, <laughs> and you go. Oh, I have no memory did of that. Did that just happen? Yeah, yeah, I know. No, it's so true. Do you know what I did on Friday? Is I, I like shooting with my which my Leica, which is down an old Leica. Nice. Not yeah. old, it's a newer one, but right. it's film. Oh, cool. And I didn't bring out one digital thing yeah. because I went, I just want to take photographs of people. But it's quite refreshing, it's isn't it? refreshing, yeah. Uh, yeah. Other than four Facebook Lives. Sure. Um, sure. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> It would be nice to experience life instead we record it. Oh look, I haven't got my tag on that, that's like there. Right. I'm, I'm I'm almost a man on brand. made out that. Right. Uh, fortunately I'm not sponsored so they can fuck off. <laughs> Shit, I what, thought those cars were all moving. <laughs> no. Smile for the camera. Sweet, this is fucking ridiculous, dude. I'm still taking it all in. Hey, but normally it's two weeks after Le Mans, so I can't right. stay for it. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah. But now it's uh, being the week after, it worked out perfectly. So, um, and how did you get on at Le Mans? Right? I was just doing TV, so I couldn't fuck it up. Okay. Well, right. I, I could fuck it up. Fuck I it just up. didn't yeah, fuck you it didn't. up. <laughs> I guess we're starting to do our thing, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Activity is is happening. I'm gonna put on my so I don't have to worry about it. McLaren is so organised, aren't they, with everything? Yeah. Super switched on. This is nuts. Okay guys, skid lid's going on, so you're not going to be able to see our faces for the next few minutes, but um, I'm going to try and do my best to shout and portray with Italian style arm gestures how incredible the next 30 seconds will be. <laughs> Let's do this. Watch the eyes. When the eyes light up, you'll know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, traction. 
Yes. But we're on track suspension. Okay. Cool. Been in a McLaren. No. <laughs> Your face says it all. I, I, I mean, I'm struggling with my own helmet here. I'm still. <laughs> I tell you what was absolutely flipping amazing. Yeah. Was that I, I didn't, as you could see, have the confidence to go around the corners that fast because I didn't know the car, right? So I was pretty t timid around the corner. But when we went into third gear down the front straight, That's there was right. a moment that my stomach lifted. Yeah. Right? And you're going, suddenly <laughs> we went from quick to really <laughs> flipping quick. Like, what? That was, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still. Um, I got to come up with yeah. some, some, some words here to, to, to put that in, in into context. Yeah, you know, it was it was the way when the in, it's seamless. There's no transition between uh, between the two different power trains. No, it is absolutely. But there's something that happens that makes you go. There is a moment. Woo! And, yeah, uh, yeah. So you know it, sometimes when you go over that humpback bridge a bit too yeah, quick, and you, that's what and I just had. Yeah, but in, in a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I never get that when my hands are on a steering wheel. No. You know, I, maybe as a passenger, oh, but never. Rust is next level. 
It's, that was fantastic. It eh? was, wasn't it? Hey, yeah. dude, we did it. Fabulous. <laughs> what, what, a, what, a, what, what a trip. What a trip. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank right, you, McLaren. Uh, right. Yeah, thank you, McLaren. Wow. Right, let's uh, step out of this car, have a breather, and uh, see what's what. <laughs> see yeah. in the mo. Wow. Shit, Jesus, dude, that, that was fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, on I a mean, serious note, what the fuck? Like, yeah. <laughs> that acceleration's I mean, batshit yeah, crazy. The only trouble is, is mm. that we don't have a way of, unless they block the wheels, I don't have a way of, um, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, it's, yeah, there's no handbrake in this. There's no handbrake in this car. Well, you know what? Two million dollars, no handbrake. No. Yeah, good work, lads. Or maybe what you do, you see, you don't need a handbrake because you put your man under the wheel, don't you? That's what you do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have your trusty the assistant. The man we don't have right now. Have. They didn't leave us with any chucks or anything. No, maybe there's a chuck over there. That was the man at the top. Excuse me, mate. Is there any way you could grab one of those chocks? Thank you. Yeah, I'm not going to trust it to go in the back of that. That's like one really expensive car being hit by a really fucking expensive car. <laughs> All I want is another go now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. They've got to get me out of here now, haven't they? They can try, basically. You know why I can't get out of the car? Doesn't have a handbrake, and I'm on a hill. Yeah. Ha. Hello? Anybody? Anybody?